Hot Ball Tag Teams. Can anybody say Rock and Sock Connection? That's exactly what I was thinking. Hey, look who it is. Hug life, Corey. Go ahead, Byron. Get all excited. Stand up. Here come the balloons. Wait for it. Wait for it. You wear the inflatable our family, two men are here. I'm gonna start bringing darts to work. No, folks, ride along was not made up. The following contest is a women's division match scheduled for one ball. Making her way to the ring from San Jose, California, Bailey. Big match up for uh, Bailey here tonight is tonight's Monday Night Raw is powered by Tap Out. Men's and women's athletic apparel available now. J.C. Penny. So, hey, speaking of ride along, Cole, you realize that the man sitting to your left has a name for his stomach. What's wrong with that? And that would be? Tammy the Tummy, Saxton. Guess what? Tammy's happy right now. This explains everything. Why you lose your mind like a small child when Bailey comes out here. Why you have zero friends. Basically, everything that's wrong with you. Well, Anna Fields does not seem too impressed with Bailey. However, I was impressed with Bailey in the way that she operated in the triple threat last night for the Raw Women's Championship oh, against Charlotte and Sasha Banks. And look at Anna Fields looking to make a name for herself here tonight on Monday Night Raw. Anna Fields looking to maximize her opportunity. As you were saying, I agree with you. Last night, Bailey was very impressive, but she just couldn't get it done. Like we've said at this stage, Monday Night Raw, Clash of Champions, Bailey's just not ready yet. Have a look at this. In a month's time since Bailey showed up here on Raw, she's shown that she can defeat Charlotte. She's been on ESPN. She came within a hair of winning the women's title. You can't question the bright future that Bailey has here. And Bailey in trouble. Wicked forearms from Anna Fields. And using the long legs Two, to her advantage. Three, four. Ellie still may be suffering a hangover after last night's triple threat match. Cover by one. Fields on Bailey and a kick out. It's a highly competitive contest, but you gotta wonder, I think more than a physical hangover, I'm talking an emotional hangover for Bailey. It, she, she failed on the big stage. It could have shattered well, her confidence. I wouldn't say she failed, Corey. I mean, Dana Brooke had a lot to do with it. Is she the, is she the WWE Raw Women's Champion? No, she's not. Then she failed. Oh, here's a question for you. If Dana Brooke weren't at ringside, would Charlotte still be the Women's Champion? Hey, why don't you go feed Tammy, Saxton? Don't talk to me anymore. And into the corner, and now Bailey starting to take control of this matchup. We've seen it in NXT, and we've seen glimpses of it on Monday Night Raw. Bailey has that next gear, and if she turns it on, she's very effective. And you're right, Byron, she may have a bright future. Last night wasn't her night. Maybe she starts anew tonight. I think Bailey has proven as such right now, whether in the early storm in this match. Oh, and an elbow right to the spine. And Bailey again with a running clothesline. Eight years ago, Bailey had her first match. Years ago, Byron had his first date. It was also his last date. And Bailey to belly. Bailey to belly. <laughs> and Bailey with the win. There you go, Bailey. Here is your winner, Bailey. Now we've said it. We've seen glimpses of Bailey and what she's capable of. And she continue the momentum. And Bailey showed that she can respond to a step back and respond emphatically the next night as she did here. Bailey to belly. Bailey showing the world. She's ready for that next challenge. Bailey, congratulations on your victory. But I'd like to take you back to last night at Clash of Champions. You came up a little bit short in your quest to become women's champion. How are you feeling 24 hours later? Well, uh, last night, Charlotte and Sasha proved why they are the top two women in this industry. They, they hold the two measuring sticks, but if they think that the triple threat was the last time either one of them will see me, whoo -hoo, they've got another thing coming. I feel the WWE Universe and I are on this journey together, and I'm just getting started because I won't stop until I'm hugging that women's championship. And if we learn anything from NXT, Byron, Bailey will not 
not stop until she's champion. No, she will not. You gotta love the optimism of Bailey. A bright future for that young lady. Bailey with a win here tonight, live on Monday Night Raw. In the ring with the cat, and I was a baby face at the time and Triple H was a heel. You're always looking out for you guys back. Triple H, stand up cat. He picked that dude up, slammed him, and started punching his lights out. And he's yelling to the security guard, get your ass in here. And the security guard didn't know where to shed or wind his watch. He was confused. You know, it happened so fast. And I couldn't do anything. You know, I couldn't help beat the guy up. Yeah. I'm the baby face. Yeah. But Triple H was watching my back, and he beat the snot out of that guy. And uh, I went backstage, and I had a couple of words with the guy. And I didn't take a cheap shot at him or nothing uh -huh. like that, but I had a little come-to-Jesus meeting with him and let him know how I felt. But I always gave Triple H credit for doing that. But the thing about it is, when you pay your money to come into that building— You've earned the right to voice your opinion, cheer, boo, do whatever yeah. to the wrestlers. And we expect that. Yeah. You don't want to be spit on. You don't want to be punched, slapped, none of that. But when someone crosses those rails, when someone comes between those ropes, you're considered fair game. And by and large, brother, back in the day, if you jumped in the ring, you would get your ass handed to you <laughs> in a hurry for a shoot. That's how we dealt with that problem. Was he dropping potatoes on you? Was he getting you good, or was he'd he only got of... a couple in on me? Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, it happened so fast. I mean, Triple H was big, laying was there. Was he a big guy or no? No, he was just a medium-sized guy. Jeez. He was rowdy. He was a little bit buzzed getting, up. Getting beaten up by Triple H. Oh, dude, Triple H. Basically, he belly to back suplexed and got on top of him and started punching <laughs> his lights out. It was hilarious. <laughs> But you know, I always appreciate uh, Triple H for standing up for me like that and watching my back.
in the ring with the cat, and I was a baby face at the time, and Triple H was a heel. You're always looking out for you guys back. Triple H, stand up cat. He picked that dude up, slammed him, and started punching his lights out. And he's yelling to the security guard, get your ass in here. And the security guard didn't know where to shed a wind his watch. He was confused. You know, it happened so fast. And I couldn't do anything. You know, I couldn't help beat the guy up. Yeah. I'm the baby face. Yeah. But Triple H was watching my back, and he beat the snot out of that guy. And uh, I went backstage, and I had a couple of words with the guy. And I didn't take a cheap shot at him or nothing uh -huh. like that. But I had a little come-to-Jesus meeting with him and let him know how I felt. But I always gave Triple H credit for doing that. But... The thing about it is, when you pay your money to come into that building, you've earned the right to voice your opinion, cheer, boo, do whatever yeah. to the wrestlers. And we expect that. Yeah. You don't want to be spit on. You don't want to be punched, slapped, none of that. But when someone crosses those rails, when someone comes between those ropes, you're considered fair game. And by and large, brother, back in the day, if you jumped in the ring, you would get your ass handed to you <laughs> in a hurry for a shoot. That's how we dealt with that problem. Was he dropping potatoes on you? Was he getting you good, or was he'd he only kinda... got a couple in on me? Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, it happened so fast. I mean, Triple H was big, laying there. Was he a big guy or no? No, he was just a medium sized guy. Jeez. He was rowdy. He was a little bit buzzed getting, up, getting beaten up by Triple H. Oh, dude, Triple H. Ba basically, cat. he bellied a back suplex and got on top of him and started punching his <laughs> lights out. It was hilarious. <laughs> But, you know, I always appreciate uh, Triple H for standing up for me like that and watching my back. 